what if we made a completely randomly generated Fakemon? Random from the animal it's based on to the type. Today I'm joined with Grunty Bister. Hello everybody! My little brother, as we create two separate Fakemon lines based on the same random prompt. Let's see how similar or different our designs end up being. Mine's better. Hey! Welcome back everybody, I'm Missy Doopop, and as I was saying earlier, I'm joined today by the incredible Grunty Bister himself. I might be the younger one, but I'm the better one. Don't hey. listen to anything Missy Doopop says. Hey. Um, Those of you who have been watching the channel for a while may remember Grunty Bister from a lot of my earlier videos. Grunty is my little bother brother, likes dogs, is learning to play the piano, and has a corgi. And today we're going back to the roots of the Missy Doopop channel, and we're gonna create a video together. We used to do that all the time. Minecraft videos, Wacky Wednesdays, what a time, what a time. The OGs will remember me. <laughs> We're gonna generate both an animal and a type for our prompt, and then create separate Fakemon lines based on this prompt. Then, we're coming back together to react to our respective Fakemon. Now, let's get to generating. Alto Ego activate! All right, so we are on the Random Animals Generating website now. Um, don't ignore all of these, these are not any of the ones we'll be doing. Yeah, they. it's one of those websites that automatically generate some before you hit Generally, oh, when yeah. you get on it. I've edited it down here so it's only gonna make one. So you ready? We're gonna click. Where's the generate Wait, button? Can, a panda! Do not, don't scream! I've watched wild crats on this. I can do it. <laughs> so wait, now we're gonna generate a type. So let's head on over to the type generating website. Okay. All right, we're over on the type generating now. I will leave links to both of these websites down below in the description if you want to get my description. Ignore this type that's generated for us. Um, do you want to click the button or do you want me to? No, you can. I can? Oh, poison poison steel? steel? I can walk with Ooh. that. It has a steel bamboo that it hits people <laughs> with. You're so violent. Oh my god. Poison steel, that's good. So we're gonna go our separate ways and I guess I'm gonna roll the tape of Grunty making his Fakemon. And then I'll make mine and then we have a reaction. So let's get to it. Action! Hello, welcome back vloggy vlogger to my inspiration. So it's a red panda. I was trying to do it with a normal panda, but I couldn't get it right. So I thought it'd be like red pandas climb up in the bamboo. This one is pandy for like panda baby. It has a little pot and the in the pot is a seed. And so I searched up baby photos of a red panda and its face is like light off. And this one is pan poison. Naming stuff is hard. It grew in like steel with spikes that's poison. This is like, it can't move from where it is. So it spends its whole childhood trying to find a spot. When its egg is hatched, then they take a stalk and then strip it of its seeds. They put the seed from the bamboo in the baby's pot. This one's normal. Just a normal type, and then this one's poison steel. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Um, link in the description for colored pencil. What? <laughs> On the ones I do these with. Crayola sponsor. Oh. Let's see what Missy do has to say. Now I'm about to react to Grunty Bister's drawing. My eyes are closed. You wanna give me a countdown? 10, 9, 3, 2, 1, look. Oh my gosh! So I went with a red panda instead of a normal oh. panda because I thought that I was going to do a normal panda, but I couldn't find a good enough design. The red but pandas, they look so good. So is so this this is the pre -eva, this is the This is the before the evolution, this is after. Oh, so you've already told them about it, but do you want to tell me about it real quick? The blades on this, it's like one of its moves, all poisonous because it's in like oh a Oh my gosh. And there's yeah. steel. So it like picks them and Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> this is the plant, and then eventually when it evolves, the plant goes down here and they just live in that one spot. My theory is like they migrate. Oh. So like they all, they put the set of pots down, and then they all go to the end and just push them. That's cool. The this is fantastic. Is. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know and grunty know down below in the comment section. It's good, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna draw I'm sorry. I'm Do you wanna see the ones I made at this age? I'll show you later, they're bad. Oh, 
uh, Poison Steel Giant Panda Pokemon. Well, the first thing I knew I needed to do was to figure out how in the world the poison type could be tied into a giant panda. Eventually, after just googling bamboo and giant pandas, I learned some more about the panda's main food source, bamboo. Did you know that bamboo produces a cyanide in your guts after being consumed raw? Cyanide is a chemical that interferes with the body's oxygen usage and can be deadly. Or poisonous and toxic. Mm -hmm. Poison type? You see the connection? The absolute crazy part is that pandas eat 26 to 48 pounds of bamboo every single day. That means that, according to the Natural Library of Medicine, pandas consume 54.8 to 66.1 milligrams of cyanide every single day, which is an amount that's near fatal to humans. So how do pandas survive this daily intake of cyanide? Well, to be honest, it's a lot of sciency and chemical reasons, and science has never been my strongest subject, but I'll do my best to explain what I learned to you guys. If I get anything wrong, please let me know down below in the comment section and I'll clear that right up. Pretty much, pandas eat this bamboo and in turn eat the cyanide too. But pandas' bodies work to turn that cyanide into a different chemical called theocyanide? I don't know if that's how you say that. Through chemical changes and that kind of stuff that just hurts my head. This new chemical is still toxic though, and it affects your nervous systems and cardiac system too. So why even change the cyanide into a still toxic chemical? Well, pandas can just pee this new chemical out, and then it's just completely removed from their system. But there's still about 20% of that original cyanide left in the panda's body, but it's a smaller amount that just doesn't bother the pandas. All right, that's enough science lesson for this. What if we take the remaining cyanide and turn it into a toxin that our panda Pokemon can use to its advantage? I introduce to you Pogu, a combination of the words cub, the Japanese word for poison doku, and this name references Po from Kung Fu Panda. It's a pure poison type at this stage, but still likes to cause mischief. Pogu takes inspiration from young punk kids or troublemakers, using its bamboo spit dart to shoot poison spitballs at its opponents. I try to include this troublemaking attitude in design choices like its unkempt hair, active pose, and its squinted winking expression. The bamboo that this Pokemon eats is filled with toxic cyanide, just like in real life. But instead of releasing it, Pobu uses its poison to its advantage as a weapon. I imagine Pobu could learn moves like Sludge Bomb and Gunk Shot at higher levels. Overall, Pobu is a pretty simple design, so I don't have much more to tell you about my process or concept ideas. But the simplicity is abandoned when Pobu evolves into... Pananide, a combination of the words Panda and Cyanide. This vacant one now possesses the Poison Steel type that was generated. To be completely honest with you all, I thought her generated type had been a poison dark type, and for some reason I didn't care to check till after I created the Fakemon. I went in later to make some changes that hopefully do the steel type justice. For example, these claws that I aim to resemble poisonous needles. Big sharp steel claws that this Pokemon uses against its foes with moves like poison jab. For this design, I took inspiration from Greasers, a subculture that was prominent in the 1950s and the 1960s. You might be familiar with Greasers from books and movies like the Outsiders, one of the greatest products of media ever. I primarily took inspiration from their clothing style, that slicked back greased hair. I tried to embrace the greaser fashion style with tufts of fur on its shoulder that resemble a leather jacket with its sleeves torn off, but hopefully doesn't look too much like actual clothes. Pinanide uses the poison that is found protruding from their hands in bamboo to slick their fur out of their eyes. Speaking of eyes, I also included dark circles around the eyes, not only to emulate the spots that pandas have around their eyes, but to resemble eye bags too. Last but not least, the bamboo Bamboo Spitball Shooter has evolved alongside this Fakemon into a thicker, stronger piece of bamboo, which Pinanide uses as a weapon and as a source of poison. You guys will have to let me know what you both think of Pobu and Pinanide down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, how about you click that like button? It really helps out against the mighty YouTube algorithm. Final battle coming soon. Okay, enough plugging. I think all in all, I could have done a better job embracing the steel typing, but that's okay. Now let's see what Grunty Bister has to say about these designs. All right, so I'm going to show you my Fakemon designs now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm wondering if you did a red panda or if you didn't. I guess we'll have to see. So, let's see. Here is Pobu. Why is it purple? <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He's like spitting. Uh, yeah, it's like a spitball. He, wait, so it, it's steel and poison, right? Right, it's just poison right now. It shoots out poison darts. A poison dart. <laughs> and it's and it's just a little like punk kid. It's like pew pew. Break windows once away. <laughs> you wanna see what Popu evolves into? Yeah, I was about to ask if it hasn't evolved. It evolves shit. into Pananide. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna guess that this is like has like shields on its arms. Oh, like, that would have been cool. Really buff. Oh. And it like it's like a street fighter. Oh, it's actually kinda calm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me explain it. So it's based, it's, this is poison and this is poison. It's a big bamboo that it hits people with, like you said, like a metal bat. <laughs> but it's also, it's based on like greasers. Do you know what those are? No. Okay. Anyway, what do you think? What's on it? It's poison. So it, it, um, eats So it hits you with it and then it poisons you. Yeah. And it's like metal. It's as hard as metal. It's, That's in its Pokedex entry. It's pronounced as steel. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. You should be. <laughs> Grunty Mister and I had so much fun creating these Fakemon. It was a real challenge though. Would you come back for a part two if people are interested? Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. If you'd like to see a part two of this video, just let us know down below in the comment section. Feel free to tell us what you think of these designs or any ideas you had throughout this video that you'd like to share. While you're down there, feel free to click that subscribe button and make sure it isn't red. And hit the like. Then you officially become a part of the Missy Do Pop community. I'm sorry that the audio for this video was pretty all over the place, but we've been working on this video for like quite a few months now. He's nodding, you can't see, but he's nodding. Yeah. I hope the video was still enjoyable despite the different mics. With that, I hope you guys are having a good day and we'll see you guys next time. Say your goodbyes, Grunty. See ya, Susans. This one's for all the Susans out there. This is Missy Doopop and Grunty Bestal signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, Felicia.